Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Ease 8. We'll continue on where we left off last time and that's exploring this wide open area we see in front of us. And the first thing we see is a lot of enemies. So let's take uh, a few of them out before we continue this. Okay, that's the wrong button. Yeah, it's been a couple of days since the last episode. So I gotta get back into the buttons once again, just like last time. Ooh, I see something interesting there. A black rock with birds flying around. I want to check what it is. But first... Yeah, they're already becoming a lot more easier to defeat for us. But with a few extra levels, upgraded weapons, equipment... Yeah, that should be the case. And of course, every enemy we defeat is just another opportunity for us to gather up more materials, which I'm sure we'll use for more equipment. That's it. That's what I thought it was. Discovery. New location discovered. Birdsong Rock. An impressive discovery made on the Isle of Siren. It will be an unforgettable memory of your adventure. Yeah, and if I'm completely honest, I think that tree in the background, I think that's also a discovery waiting to happen. Nice. A pheasant egg and some branches. Yeah, and that's something this uh, game will be uh, very uh, central about. Gathering up all those sweet, sweet materials. Because it does seem that the more materials we have, the better our chances of survival are, so... Of course, we're gonna collect loots. And of course, the higher the great, the better it is. Ah, so I'll level up. Thank you very much. Is this another piece of wheat? Yes, it is. All right. And of course, like we said last time, whenever we come across a new place to fish, we'll try. I am of course hoping that we won't come across another big piece of skeleton like last time, because that was scary as hell. Seeing as we are not longer uh, fishing at the shore, but in outlet, I'm hoping it should be fine. If not, we're just gonna run again. <laughs> Ooh, a Saren Trout. Awesome. Let's see what the other one has. What's biting today? Yes, of course, this is for materials, but I'm mainly doing it to catch new types of fish. Because all these fish will be recorded in our book. And of course, the more different fish we have, the fuller the book is. And I'm pretty sure once it's full, We'll get an achievement out of it, so just for that alone, it will be worth it. What's biting today? And uh, as you can see, fishing, it doesn't take a lot. And with the DLC, we got a shit ton. Ooh, wait. Like right. Ah, it's chest. Awesome, a new <laughs> treasure chest is a new <laughs> fishable item, awesome. Uh, but yes, we finally saw something else. Uh, if the fishing is hard enough, we need to adjust our fishing pole accordingly. I like that. Big pearl times one. Ooh. That sounds really, really good. D don't know what to use for yet, but I'm pretty sure we want as many as we can of it. don't see any items that, wait no no yeah in the distance I see something shiny and now I see other maps definitely something we want treasure 
Iron ore times three. Okay, so we got two ways we can go. We can go that way into the forest, or we can go this way, basically going back to where we were, but on a higher level where we couldn't reach before. Hmm. I'm feeling quite foresty tonight, so uh, let's go into the forest. And because the forest is of course a whole different type of environment, what I'm hoping for is that we'll find very different kind of materials. And therefore increasing our database of no materials and possibly new things we can make. And the one thing I'm mainly looking for is the one thing you guys might still have on your mind and that's those fibers. Because we've seen a lot of things that need fibers. I, don't ha I have not found yet a credible source of those. So maybe going to a different environment, getting maybe a different type of enemy that will provide us the fibers that we need in order to make those stuff, especially that one thing that we saw, a uh, customizable uh, appearance equipment. So yes. Ooh, rising slash par. Okay, we'll check it out after we get rid of these few spitters, basically. Nice. More branches, beautiful. Uh, yes, we already changed her with a new skill. And what is it that you have? Rising Slash. Where would we want to put that? I think I want to put it in the upper thing. Okay, so it looked like Sonic Slide is already on 95. Yeah, I've been using that the most because it's on my basic buttons. But yeah, let's see what this Rising Slash is actually doing. And the thing I'm uh, looking for, especially with leveling up, is when it is so we can check out what actually happens will the sp cost go up or down will the power increase will nothing happen it's just a physical thing in knowing your expertise with a skill yeah. yeah all things we still need to discover That rising one, I think, is very good for items that's gonna be up in trees. I've been using Sahat until now, but if everyone gets a move like that, just to widen up our options in doing so. Ooh, honey, that's really sweet. So far, we only come across bugs. Oh, something there. And of course, as you can expect with, with bugs, the only thing they have is mucus. <laughs> A very slimy lot. I do like the honey though. I can imagine that that will be for something we can eat to restore our HP. Ooh, and they have cabbage. Well, technically I can see bugs eating lettuce, so maybe that's the link on why they're giving cabbage. But it's definitely a food stuff. How willing I am to eat that, I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, gravel, nameless coast. Requires eight, you've got six. Landslide blocks the path. Okay, so this looks like something that we will probably open up quite soon seeing as we're only missing two characters and with the speed that we are getting our new ones are pretty quick i'm pretty sure we can do that All right. and in the corner of my of course i saw a new fishing spot Darn it. let's see what kind of fish we can get from here 
And have been contemplating on maybe uh, chasing it to Sahat because he's an actual fisherman. If you have a uh, own opinion or agrees with me, please let me know in the comments. That way we can adjust it, of course, because I have no idea if getting Sahat will give us better fish or a chance of certain unique types that only he can catch because of his skill. And the same goes with uh, Lexa, Lexia and, of course, uh, Edel. Do they all have like a certain skill that will give them an opportunity to capture different types of fish? Or is it more that something like Edel will get treasure chest if it's a, if it's a potential? And if so, what will Lexia get? Yes, give me all the fish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Treasure jet. Ah, almost missed that one. Peace claws. Awesome. And I'm sorry, Wolfies, you're just uh, too weak for me right now. Ooh. Stalex, uh... This and he's a higher level island, piece of rock. Me yes, me too. <laughs> All right. And well, that area will definitely get us back uh, to base because we can see the smoke in the distance, which is a sign of our camp. So let's go this way. And I know that on the map it will uh, tell us where we need to be in order to progress. Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> I was just about to say the map is going to show us where we need to progress, but apparently it's here. <laughs> Feels like we've been walking non-stop. Uh, at all. Can we take a break? Are you both that tired? Is that all you got? No, no, let's be concerning. Because we are friends here. At least for the time being. N no, this doesn't faze me at all. There's a reason us sailors call them sea legs, you know? Not surprised that this breeze for you at all. What with you being an adventurer and all. I suppose your insatiable wanderlust does have its advantage advantages. Near limitless stamina, for instance. It says still. We gotta take a break. Me and Luxia are about to pass out. This area seems safe enough. I don't see any beast nearby. Then how about we set up camp here for a night? <gasps> says set up camp? As, as in, the three of us camping t together? Huh? What? You don't wanna? Uh, of course I don't. Why must I camp with you two? Well, the Isle of Siren is way bigger than any of us expected. There's no way we can search the whole island without setting up camps. But, what? what? Uh, do you wanna go back to the village? You have to suck it up. Yeah, she does. Because if she really wants to help people, or find her friend, there's only one way to do it, and that's to keep on pressing on. So yeah. No. Much as I'm loath to admit it, returning to the village simply is not an option. Good, we all agree. Let's set up camp right away. You ever set up camp before at all? Uh, I used to camp in the woods all the time. Just leave it to me. Yeah, humble brag. Still a brag, but I think we've earned it at least a little bit. All the time, huh? Adventurers sure know their stuff. All right then, let's get started. Given this island's obvious lack of light sources, I assume nights here would be pitch dark. 
And yet, the moons and stars are far brighter than I thought them to be. <laughs> we sailors rely on the moons and stars to help us navigate at sea. Some things can only really be seen at night, long after the sun goes down. What made you want to become a fisherman, Sahad? Huh? Uh, why do you want to know? <sighs> huh? Well, uh, guess you could say I didn't have a choice. Hmm. I grew up on an island called Crete. Pretty much all we got there is the sea. Doesn't matter how old you are, if you want to eat, you gotta fish it up yourself. So, where I'm from, if you want to live, you gotta fish. Simple as that. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Wasn't it difficult for you to grow up in a harsh environment like that? Harsh? Mm, I suppose. I've had my fair share of hardships over the years. And the sea, she could be gentle like a mother, but she could also be terribly violent. <laughs> Tell me about it. I too have learned that about the sea. Yeah, we, we know it all, we know. Almost every adventure you had is that you being thrown off a ship, getting amnesia, trying to figure out everything again from the beginning. But yeah, one brack at an episode at a time. <laughs> yeah. I can hear it in your voice. The seas made a lasting impression on you. Well, lasting. With all the amnesia stuff. Not as lasting as you might think. She's made an impression on me too. That's why I respect her. What? The sea is both bountiful and mighty. She's provided me with delicious meals and shaped me into the man sitting before you. Shaped you? I... You can't face the sea in all her grand majesty unless you first accept how small you are. The sea's no place for bluster or bravado. She don't stand for that nonsense. One careless misstep is all it takes to lose everything. Humans are small, fragile creatures, especially out there. When I realized that, I thought, I need to accept how small I am and be true to myself. And once I did that, I felt like I could face the world for the first time. <sighs> That's why I don't like being dishonest. I've been true to myself for a long time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> the truest way he could be himself. <laughs> Farting. Yes. Hey, the, the quintessential way to be yourself. <laughs> Let it all go. <laughs> I think I understand you better. <laughs> Did you just... No, I think go with this one. Because we all heard it. <laughs> Damn right. I'm Sahad Nautilus of Crete. <laughs> Being true to oneself. All right, I'm feeling much lighter now. Time to hit the hay. Let's get some shut eye, you two. Hold on a second. Huh? You will sleep near the entrance, Sahad. Mr. Kristen will sleep in the center, and I will be in the far corner. Wait. That would place me downwind. Perhaps I should sleep near the entrance. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of sleeping going on tonight. More of the bedding arrangements. <laughs> Father, where are you? Oh, she's having nightmares. Well. It's her first time out in the wild without the protection of her money, so yeah. It's gonna be harsh for her, but I think the awakening she needs is really right there for her. Uh, as candidates to become the next main of the Great Tree, this temple is your home now. 
there exists a power that allows one to manipulate the laws of nature. With this power, one can read the wind, control water and fire, and even foresee the future. We call this power essence. We are gathered here today because each of you are blessed with the power of essence. Under our tutelage, you will receive a proper education. When the time comes, one of you will be chosen to become the next maiden of the great tree. As you know, the maiden of the great tree stands on equal footing with the queen of Eternia. Please, keep it in mind as you face what lies ahead. That's strange. I, I thought it was this way. Wow, what a magnificent tree. Is this the great tree of origins? The center of the entire kingdom? A grey vision. I, I saw a woman? Oh dear, are you a candidate? You're not supposed to be here just yet. Y y your, your eminence, I I'm is a woman sleeping inside the Great Tree of Origins? Hmm? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked such a strange question. You saw it too? Ah. Y yes. What is your name, child? Dana. Listen carefully, Dana. Do not speak of what you just saw to anyone. It could undo the world itself. Huh? Although, if you do become the next maiden, perhaps that time will come. Looks like the clerk uh, finally released you from her sermon. Sarai, did you come to pick me up? I didn't come alone. The Crouch is uh, with me too. Oh, Olga. Don't oh, Olga me. I swear, you're such a troll maker. You snuck out of the temple to go wandering around the black market. You entered the clerk's room without permission and destroyed things, claiming it was research. And just now, you ditched the trial ceremony to sneak into the garden of the great tree. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry about that. Forgetting something? Hmm? The baby bird you're hiding under your clothes. I bet you snuck it into the garden to save it. Uh, how did you know? So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take care of it. Otherwise you'll miss out on dinner if you keep dragging your feet. Right, thank you, Olga. Yeah, they are the best of friends. Hmm. What's so funny, Sarai? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. For the top maiden candidate, you sure do worry about Dana a lot. Yes, well, I'm sure you've noticed that tendency of hers. Tendency? If Dana thinks someone or something is in trouble, She'll risk her life and limb to save it. Generally speaking, that is an admirable quality. But Dana doesn't think things through. She is impulsive, reckless. Ah, uh, I think it's sweet. Oh, that's not the point. Sure, it's all well and good right now, but if she continues down this path... <laughs> good morning. <laughs> good morning. You got yourself another beautiful day today. Hey, what's the matter? You look tired at all. I'm fine. I had a strange dream. Well, in previous episodes, we decided to tell Laxia about the dream. I think I want to continue on that trend. Whenever we have a strange dream, I want to talk about it with everyone. That way, if something really strange is going to happen, 
they know about it. They know I'll have this weird ass dreams and stuff like that. So yeah, I had a strange dream. A dream? Didn't you mention something about a dream the other day? Anyway, put yourself together. We can find other castaways or map this area without you. Hmm? How'd you sleep, Laxia? Yeah. Well, well, I managed to get more rest than I expected I would. <laughs> That's great to hear. Even so, I still miss sleeping in a bed. Well, we should make more campsites in other places. That way we got places to rest if it's gonna get tough. As much as I hate to admit it, I think he's right. It's just consider it if we find another safe location. Okay, Edel, let's get going. Campsites. Sentinel Camp has many advantages. You can restore HP, SP and the extra gauge. And you can cook meals over the campfire. Campsites contain crystals that can be utilized for fast travel. So basically you can go from camp to camp. Or in other words, safe area to safe area. Now, go ahead. Go ahead, why? Alright, anything in this it definitely is. Mm-hmm. And we're definitely gonna take it with us. For the rest I don't see anything useful. I'm gonna assume that way is gonna take us back to where we were. And that way is gonna take us into a cave. And that's definitely where the game wants us to go. But I still have some extra things to explore. Because in the area before, I think we have a way to go all the way back to the beginning. And we have to still have this. So I'm very intrigued by that. So I think I want to go back. I still have a couple of minutes left. Let's see if we can uh, connect the dots. Or at least uh, reveal a little bit more of the map. Damn, Wolfie. That caught me really by surprise. Okay, so that's the tree we talked about earlier. I think that's the bridge. So, is that where we want to go now? Oh, I just missed him. Well, we're on the outside, so HP is really not a problem. <laughs> Except when I die, so let's be careful with the poison. <laughs> oh, let's be careful. And let's just wait. Oh god, um, do we have anything against? Yes, we have. Because it does look like Galaxia is almost out of uh, the poison. I think it's best if we save him. <laughs> HHP, we do not want our main hero to die. Okay, so, come on, Adol, get your HP back. Yeah, it goes really quickly once it uh, starts going. Should be a little bit more careful next time with the enemies, cause we can really avoid it. I know I said that there's no problem, and it truly isn't, cause we can always heal. But if I underestimate the enemies, there is a chance that the one that can hit us really hard might take us down. And if there's one thing I don't want, and that is to be taken down. I'm just looking. I think I see a fish there in the distance, but you cannot reach that from here. Oh 
Okay, it went a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> he just looked at the tree and it fell over. Okay, so it doesn't appear we can go up there. I do see a chest. So I'm guessing we need to find a way to climb that uh, plant wall we saw at the other side. But I really thought it was going to be like a drop that we come in from the upside and then jump down. But apparently there is some climbing skill involved as well. Alright, now we have a look at that place. Let's go to the other side as well. I do see a few enemies there, so let's take care of them first. And see what that tree is all about, that little one over there. Sturdy lumber. Okay, so a better tree. <laughs> That's basically what it is. I can't remember if we've seen fire just yet. Let's hope that if we go into the cave in a moment that... Uh, that place will give us all the fiber we'll ever need. More iron ore, beautiful. And we know where that leads, that is where we were before. And now we have a link to it. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. All right. I see fishies. What's biting today? Fight. This is pretty good. <laughs> Siren trout is basically everywhere. <laughs> Well, it does give us a lot of height, and not a bad thing. Alright, so, we've mapped the entire area, the only thing we have left is this question mark. But I have a feeling that that's the place that is right around the corner with all the leaves where we need to climb, so... Technically, I don't think we can go there. Alright, so, let's head back to camp and get ready to go into the cave on the next episode. And let's see what we can find there. Because again, same with the forest. A cave is a totally different environment. I expect things like uh, maybe some mushrooms. Maybe some bats and that kind of enemies. Who knows, maybe the bats are the ones that got us the fibers in the first place. Because we got one earlier. I just can't see if it was in a chest or anything else. And this is another way back from another area. Uh, I can already feel that... A lot of areas are connected to one another, but if you manage to get to a new place, and then you can go back through this one. Making it everything shorter and shorter together. Alright, now we are at the camp here. Let's grab the apples. And call it uh, a day. Because we are now fully healed. And ready to go into that cave at the end of it. And we'll start with that next time. And I hope to see you all there then. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.